Reverend Insanity. Chapter 556. It's actually a goo immortal inheritance. Bam. Hai Lulan raised his leg, kicking his tribesman Hai Kai Sheng to the ground. Useless thing, the black fatty cursed, the muscles on his face twitched as he revealed a ruthless and savage gaze. The hall was silent. All of the high tribe goo masters did not dare to speak a word. Hai Lulan was called Black Tyrant. It was due to his famous ruthless and cruel personality. Especially when he was obstructed six times by the 54th round, his anger was ignited like a barrel of gunpowder. Lord Tribe Leader, it was my inability, I deserve death. Hai Kai Sheng sprawled on the ground, begging for forgiveness while prostrating. Idiot. Why is there such a useless idiot in our high tribe? Hai Lu Lan gritted his teeth, kicking Hai Kai Sheng several times. Seeing that he was coughing blood due to the kicks, Hai Lu Lan's anger subsided slightly. The surrounding elders were silent, not daring to say a word. Last time, the elders who pleaded for Hai Kai Sheng were beaten until they received heavy injuries by Hai Lu Lan, they were still bedridden now. Hai Lu Lan temper had been curbed slightly during the imperial court contest, but now that they were in the blessed land, his poor temper and cruel nature were back at full force. You are also all idiots, useless trash. Why are you all standing here? Speak, tell me a good method to break through the 54th round. Otherwise, I will dock your salary. The tribe does not feed useless people. I gave you primeval stones, I gave you a luxurious life, raising your status, what was it all for? Now is the time to perform your duties. Hai Lu Lan screamed, the windows were shaking from the force of his voice. The elders were sighing bitterly internally. They were like drooping eggplants, lowering their head and communicating with their expressions, but no one dared to speak first. Hai Lu Lan stared and looked around, fixing his gaze on Elder Hai Pei. As the most senior and experienced first Elder Hai Pei, he gritted his teeth and walked out, bowing in respect. Lord, the way I see it, this fifty-fourth round is a test of enslavement path. It is very difficult, and it cannot be passed without master-level enslavement attainment. Although Elder Hai Kai Sheng is an enslavement path Gu Master that we nurtured, he is not a master. To pass this round, we need Lord Wolf King's strength. HMPH, you are asking me to seek outside help. You want to let the whole world see us High Tribe as a joke, as a weakling that needs outside reinforcements. Hai Lulan's gaze was filled with ruthlessness as he screamed fiercely. Hai Pei's heart was shivering, but he bowed deeply and responded. Lord Tribe Leader is strong and intelligent, you are an amazing leader, the Lord of the Imperial Court. With your presence, whoever dares to think that High Tribe is useless would be the number one fool in this world. This is not outside reinforcement to be exact. This Wolf King Chang Shan Yin is part of the Alliance Army. He is your subordinate. Using him for this is but natural. I am sure Chang Shan Yin would be very grateful to Lord after all. He is an outsider, but he given the chance to enter True Yong building, it is his greatest honor. Hai Lu Lan heard this and his anger expression softened. The elders watched this as they praised Hai Pei's eloquence internally. He was indeed skilled to be the first elder. Hai Lu Lan walked slowly, he was very indignant. Currently, he had two guest tokens, they were obtained from the 12th and 46th round respectively as a reward from True Yang building. It was not that he did not want to waste the tokens, but once he invited Wolf King, the reward for clearing the 54th round would go to Chang Shan Yin. If it was his tribesman, Hai Lu Lan could use the authority of the tribe leader to make all of the rewards his. But according to the rules, these rewards should be given to the reinforcement. The rewards in 88 True Yang building was extraordinary, even Hai Lu Lan was deeply moved. Be it Gu recipes, Gu worms, or others, each item could allow a Gu master to rise up despite an ordinary background. Hai Lu Lan walked for several steps, sighing lightly. He knew that there was no point in forcing Hai Kai Sheng. High Tribe had nurtured three enslavement path Gu Masters, one died in the Imperial Court Contest, while Hai Kai Sheng was the stronger one out of the two left. 
but he was not an enslavement master, any master needed sufficient talent, it was not something that could be nurtured through abundant resources. Hai Lu Lan stopped walking. Where is Hai Shu? Subordinate is here. Hai Shu was standing outside the hall, he was Hai Lu Lan's personal Gu master attendant, hearing Hai Lu Lan summon, he came in to greet him. Go invite Wolf King here. Hai Lu Lan instructed. Hearing this, the elders in the hall sighed in relief. Hai Kai Sheng who was lying on the ground relaxed his body, this nightmare was over. Yes, Lord Tribe Leader. Hai Shu left after receiving his orders. Bam. Hai Lu Lan kicked Hai Kai Sheng again. You trash, why are you still lying here? You want Chang Shan Yin to see how pathetic our Hai Tribe is after he comes here. Lord, Lord I was wrong. Hai Kai Sheng quickly apologized profusely. Get lost and nurse your injuries, Hai Lu Lan screamed. Yes, 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 Lord. Hai Kai Sheng struggled to get up, leaving in a wobbling state. Not long after, Hai Shu reported back with an apologetic look. Lord Tribe Leader, Lord Wolf King is not in the Sacred Palace, he is out feeding his wolves. What? Hai Lu Lan's volume became louder, his brows were raised as his calm expression showed anger again. The elders were terrified, the first elder Hai Pei accused Hai Shu. You junior, you do not know how to do your job. Even if Wolf King was not around, how could you return empty-handed? Could you not send a letter over and state your intention that Wolf King will come crawling back immediately? Lord, it was not my fault, Hai Shu cried out innocently. I already sent a letter over, but Wolf King replied already. He said that he was leading his wolves to hunt, it was a habit, and he did not want to cut it in the middle. He wants us to wait, if we cannot wait, we can call Tang Mayo Ming and the others instead. At once, everyone was shocked. First Elder Hai Pei stared with his eyes wide opened, he did not believe it. How can anyone be so indifferent? Did he really say that? I have concrete evidence, Lord Tribe Leader, this is the letter Gu that Wolf King Chang Shan Yin sent back, Hai Shu said, handing a star letter Gu to Hai Lu Lan. This was a star path Gu, it was rank 4 and gave the fastest replies, but it shone in the air as it flew, it created huge commotion and was easy to intercept. Of course, in Imperial Court Blessed Land, there was no such worries. Hai Lu Lan's mind entered the star letter Gu as he snickered continuously. This wolf king has good temperament, he is able to control his desires so well. Lord, Wolf King is an arrogant loner, everyone knows that. The way I see it, he is already laughing secretly, but is trying to put up a front. First Elder Hai Pei analyzed, as the other's elders nodded in agreement. HMPH, of course he is being haughty. He is an enslavement master, and also a flying master. If you guys were masters, would we need to ask an outsider for help? Hai Lu Lan screamed, causing the elders to shut up as some of the elders lowered their head even more. Honestly speaking, Fang Yuan was really not placing his attention on true Yang building. He looked at DQ below him, his heart palpitating. There really isn't a small tower here. According to the terrain, this area should have a small tower, directly above DQ, but now, this is just a pitch black hole. Impressive, the Gu Master who made this inheritance is very impressive. The Imperial Court Blessed Land had a small tower at every 8 Lai interval. Actually, all of them were a part of the 88 True Yang Building. 88 True Yang Building was an immortal Gu house that Long Hair Ancestor had refined back in the day, it was as high as rank 8. Next, after Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's preparations, it was a mirror of Northern Plains. The small towers were all over Imperial Court Blessed Land, they could be seen everywhere. Each of the towers had thousands of wild goo, no one dared to target them, or they would die. But now it seems that the goo master who set up DQ inheritance not only moved the small tower, he even set up this inheritance on that spot. Such methods and courage, such abilities, it made Fang Yuan confirm that this mysterious goo master was not a simple person. No, rather than Gu Master, I might as well call him Gu Immortal. 
Even with the long time that had passed, and giant sun immortal venerable setup might have weakened, but it is not something mortals can alter. Only goo immortals can make minor changes to these arrangements, and create such a place. Fang Yuan's eyes were shining with uncertainty. He had accidentally gotten the Kiyu inheritance, but it was a Gu immortal inheritance, light in the soil, shine up to a hundred thousand feet high, swimming in the sky for a hundred lie, praising plum fragrant snow. What did this really mean? What sorts of treasures would be inside a Gu immortal's inheritance? Will there be an immortal Gu? Fang Yuan guessed daringly. If there was an immortal Gu, it could match against the first floor of True Yang building. Because even in the 88 True Yang building, the final round of every floor might not have an immortal Gu reward. Even without an immortal Gu, the Kiyu inheritance was created with so much effort, there had to be an immortal Gu recipe at least. Without immortal Gu, an immortal Gu recipe was also a huge reward. A complete immortal Gu recipe was something not sold inside Treasure Yellow Heaven. Gu immortals would sell remnant recipes mostly. Even if they had complete immortal goo recipes, they would break it up and add in some mistakes before selling it. Complete immortal goo recipes could only be exchanged. And there were few instances of this happening throughout history. Fang Yuan curbed his imagination and began to think calmly. With a crucial clue, his current train of thought had improved rapidly. He pieced together all sorts of clues, deciphering the time of DQ inheritance's creation. It should be very long ago, at least, it should have existed since Paradise Earth Immortal Venerable's time. But the more he thought, the more questions he had. Let's call this person Gu Immortal Di Kiyu for now, who were they? Why did they set up an inheritance here? As a Gu Immortal, how did they get in? Most importantly, how did they know about the setup here, and the true principle behind the 88 True Yang building? If they were like Tai Bai Yun Sheng, an advanced to Gu immortal realm inside Imperial Court Blessed Land, then there would be new explanations for what happened. Fang Yuan felt a headache as he stopped thinking. One star letter Gu tore through the sky and flew towards him. Fang Yuan received it and saw that it was Hai Lu Lan urging him to return. Never mind, I shall go to True Yang building first and come back later. Gu Immortal DQ most likely made use of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's setup flaws. Once I enter True Young Building, I might be able to find some clues and understand the mystery behind this. Thinking so, Fang Yuan replied with the letter. Since Hai Lu Lan wrote a letter personally to rush him, Fang Yuan stopped acting arrogantly anymore. He immediately returned. I will need to rely on Wolf King's strength this time. Hai Lu Lan saw Fang Yuan and laughed. He was very anxious in his heart. There was not much time inside Imperial Court Blessed Land. Once the ten-year blizzard outside subsides, Imperial Court Blessed Land would close and they would need to leave. Before that happens, Hai Lu Lan not only needs to complete the mission given by his tribe's Gu Immortals, he also needed to find a strength path Immortal Gu for himself. After Wolf King returned, Hai Lu Lan quickly organized the group again. The gang got to the building, as Hai Lu Lan handed Fang Yuan an ancient token. This is the guest token. Wolf King does not have Huang Jin bloodline, you are an outside in the building's perspective. To enter it, you will need a guest token each time. Fang Yuan received the token and laughed lightly without any concern, saying, I can't wait to witness the splendor of True Yang building. At this point, Hai Lu Lan did not push the door open. Instead, he crashed into the door. Fang Yuan followed suit as the guest token shone in his hand. He imitated Hai Lu Lan and entered True Yang building as well. Chapter 557 Three Grades of Evaluation Clearing with High Grade Fang Yuan felt his body stiffen as a strong sense of pressure assaulted him as he entered the building. But soon after, the pressure lifted. He had entered True Yang building completely, there was a lake in front of him. The sky was blue, there was ripples on the surface of the lake, and the surroundings were shrouded in vague foggy mountain shadows. The guest token in his hand turned into a puddle of cold molten iron flowing down the gaps between his fingers. 
Each guest token could only be used once. Fang Yuan shook off the liquid from his hand until they were all gone. He looked around, finding himself on an island at the center of the lake. There was someone beside him, it was Hai Lu Lan. This is the 54th round. Hai Lu Lan did not look at Fang Yuan, instead facing forward, look, that is the problem brother Shan Yin has to deal with. Fang Yuan looked at the same direction and saw that not far away there was another island. On the island, there was a group of water snake lions. These water snake lions had a body of bright blue fur, they were extremely smooth. Its limbs were not claws, but were webbed feet like that of frogs. Their tails were poisonous snakes, coiling around the water lion's back or standing straight up, hissing with their tongues. Without Hai Lu Lan's introduction, a barrage of information from a mystical source entered Fang Yuan's brain at the same time. Use the hedgehog fish on the island and break past the water snake lion's defense, occupy the island over there. Fang Yuan retracted his gaze, turning to look at the island around him. In the jade blue water around the island, he saw the shadows of hedgehog fish swimming. At this time, high tribe elders came in one by one, standing beside Hai Lu Lan. Be it water snake lions or hedgehog fish, they are wild beasts from the medieval era. Right now, they can only be found in the deep areas of Eastern Sea. An elder sighed. In my opinion, this round is extremely unfair. The water snake lions are very strong, one of them can compete against five or six hedgehog fish, but the number of hedgehog fish we have here is only about twice of the water snake lions. A high tribe elder looked at the island ahead as he explained the situation to Fang Yuan. No need to worry brother Shan Yin, we are here today for practice. Hai Lu Lan patted Fang Yuan's shoulders. After all, Fang Yuan enslaved wolf groups. But now, it was a fish group, and it was even an extremely rare, nearly extinct hedgehog fish in northern plains. Hai Lu Lan had failed about eight to nine times already, his best result was only killing 30% of the water snake lions. This made Hai tribe Gu masters understand the difficulty of this round. Although Chang Shan Yin was an enslavement master, this was the true Yang building set up by giant sun immortal venerable. Fang Yuan looked for a while and frowned. He estimated, with his abilities, controlling these hedgehog fish to kill the water snake lions was not hard. In fact, it was almost a guaranteed success. But although this round seemed simple, it was very elaborate. Back when Giant Sun Immortal Venerable set up the 88 True Yong building, the purpose was to leave an inheritance for descendants and reward the outstanding ones. Thus, every round in True Yong building would be split into low, middle, and high grade. Getting through with low grade would reward the least rewards, they would directly go to the next round. Getting through with middle grade would have twice the reward of low grade during the next round, they would receive information about it. As for getting through with high grade, not only would they get twice the reward of middle grade, they would even be transported into a deep part of True Yong building, a place called Treasure Room. This treasure room was filled with countless treasures, there were even several true immortal inheritances by giant sun immortal venerable. But the things inside the treasure room cannot be taken away easily, the person who cleared the round would need to exchange for them. Be it goo worms, goo recipes, or even their own cultivation experience, all these could be used for exchanging the items within. When the person finishes the exchange, they would go to the next round. Hai Lu Lan only needed a low-grade pass to get to the 55th round that would satisfy him. But Fang Yuan's goal was different. He needed high-grade pass to enter the treasure room. Only within the treasure room can he be alone to use the methods he had prepared to obtain the greatest benefits. Low-grade pass is easy as breathing. But middle and high-grade, I do not know what are the conditions for those, I can only try now. Thinking so, Fang Yuan breathed in deeply and nodded at Hai Lu Lan, indicating for him to start. Hai Lu Lan took out a token and waved it at the sky. This token was different from the guest token, it was the the owner token. 
When Hai Lu Lan first entered Imperial Court Blessed Land, this token appeared before him, signifying his prestigious status. The owner token vibrated, as ripples formed in the air, dozens of fish enslavement goo appeared, of rank 1, 2, and 3. When Fang Yuan received these goo worms, he easily refined them. The other people were immobilized by an invisible gentle force, no one could assist him. Only Hai Lu Lan could still speak, he advised. Brother Shan Yin, mind the time. You have only fifteen minutes. Fang Yuan nodded and waved his hand as the fish enslavement goo in his hand flew out with dozens of mystical lights. Everyone saw Fang Yuan's casual action and was shocked in their hearts. If it was Hai Kai Sheng, he would need to enslave them one by one, being extremely careful. When using enslavement goo, the goo master would definitely face the resistance of the fish group. If they were careless, the enslavement would fail. If it was severe, the goo master would suffer some backlash on his soul. Was Wolf King too overconfident? I've never seen such an enslavement method before. He's in Traub. Everyone's heart was pounding. But immediately after, they stared with huge eyes as the fish group swam away towards the island immediately after the enslavement. It was as if they belonged to Fang Yuan from the start, not a single enslavement failed. The water snake lions were alerted by this, they stopped their lazy actions and sat up. The lion head roared as the snake head hissed. Many of the water snake lions jumped into the water, setting up their defense lines. Meanwhile, Fang Yuan was standing upright, his arms behind his back as he did not waver at all. The enslavement attainment as well as foundation of the soul he displayed made almost everyone praise him in secret. All heaven he did it. Just this alone was an eye-opener. Wolf King is an enslavement master indeed, he is different from ordinary people. A master is a master, maybe he can succeed this time, who knows. Everyone's eyes began to show a look of anticipation. Even Hai Lu Lan was looking with a hopeful expression. But the wish group did not attack the water snake lion group like they wished, instead they were swimming around the area, surveilling the place. This, what is Wolf King thinking? Wolf King is being careful, it seems he is trying to get familiar with the fish's habits. But as time passed, the fish continued to swim. Everyone did not get to see the fight between fish and lion as they wished. By now, even Hai Lu Lan was a bit anxious, he urged, Brother Shan Yin, there isn't much time left. No rush. Fang Yuan was calm as he replied casually. The water snake lions saw that the fish group did not attack. Some of the water snake fish crawled out of the water onto the island. The strong defense around the island weakened. After a moment, Hai Lu Lan urged again, Brother Shan Yin, half the time has already passed. No rush. Fang Yuan waved his hand, his eyelids drooping, as if he was very sleepy. Even more water snake lions went on shore. The old lion king even sprawled on the ground, shutting its eyes in slumber. Everyone was greatly disappointed, they were cursing in their minds. This wolf king is merely strong on the outside, to think I thought so highly of him earlier. So what if he is a master level, this is true yang building. It seems that this time, Cheng Shan Yin's goal is to get familiar with the fish group, to accumulate experience for the next assault. Seeing that the time was going to be used up, everyone's remaining bit of hope was expended. What a waste of a token, expended like this. What shall I eat for dinner tonight? 1. After failing this time, I wonder how Lord Tribe Leader will deal with Chang Shan Yin. Just as everyone were thinking about random things, Fang Yuan suddenly laughed, manipulating the fish group to charge, attacking the water snake lion group from all directions. As expected, Hai Lu Lan's eyes shone with brilliance. He had guessed in his heart already. Chang Shan Yin wants to save his efforts for the next attempt, then this time, he would definitely familiarize himself with the fish group and their attacking pattern. He would also need to probe the strength of the lion group. The fish group's sudden attack caught the water snake lion group off guard. 
The hedgehog fish group was like a hungry shark, devouring the small number of water snake lions in the water in an instant. So that's it. Chang Shan Yin was training the fish group earlier while making the lion group let their guard down. This attack has already taken down 30% of the lion group as expected of master level. What breathtaking beast enslavement attainment, Hai Kai Sheng is like a baby compared to Chang Shan Yin. Everyone stared intently, shocked by Fang Yuan's amazing talent. Howl, seeing that its subjects were being slaughtered, the old Lion King roared, leading the lion group into the water to take revenge on the hedgehog fish. But what was peculiar was that Fang Yuan stopped his powerful assault, and under his manipulation, the fish group retreated. The lion group chased after him, but at when they got to one area, the group fell into chaos. What happened? Everyone was perplexed. So there was a hidden whirlpool here, Hai Lu Lan mumbled. Immediately after, the elder's eyes shone. I get it. Wolf King was making the fish scout the area. It was not just to train them. He also wanted to investigate the terrain. That's right. When beast groups fight, it is like war between two armies. Not only would they need to consider both of the armies, they also need to care about the terrain. Many Gu masters saw this and almost wanted to pat their legs and scream. The water snake lion group was trapped by the whirlpool as the fish group turned around and attacked. The lions had huge bodies, they were more affected by the water currents. As for the fish group, they were barely affected by it due to their small size. An exceptional battle strategy unfolded before the crowd. The strong water snake lion group was as fragile as a piece of water. Under Fang Yuan's manipulation, the fish group was like an elite troop. They cooperated well and attacked and retreated at will, taking down their opponents one by one. The fish group gathered and spread at will, attacking fiercely. At times they scattered, causing the lion's attacks to miss. He has them dancing in the palm of his hands. Amazing, incredible, in just a dozen breaths' time, Wolf King became victorious. We got through, we got through. High tribesmen were shocked and exhilarated. Their gaze towards Fang Yuan revealed admiration, amazement, and fear, etc. Good, what a great wolf king! Hai Lulan laughed as he clapped. Fang Yuan also laughed heartily, because when he finished killing the lion group, an information went into his head high grade evaluation. The next moment, Fang Yuan vanished on the spot. What happened? High tribesmen were shocked at this, their eyeballs also fell out. He got a high-grade evaluation. Only High Lulan was shouting in his heart. Chapter 558 Giant Sun's Great Scheme, Treasure Within the Crystal Fang Yuan was in a long crystal hallway. Light was flashing in all directions, the four walls were made of shiny crystals, one could see their own reflection in them. Fang Yuan gazed around, behind him, and to his left and right were walls, he could only move forward. I am finally inside the treasure room. Fang Yuan's lips curled into a smile as he walked forward with huge strides. The crystal hallway was long and clear. In about five steps, Fang Yuan saw that goo worms or goo recipes started appearing on the crystal walls to his left and right. They were like insects sealed in amber, motionlessly fixed in the crystal walls. These were all the precious treasures in the treasure room. To obtain them, he needed to exchange them with an equivalent item. Oh, there's a heavenly essence treasure King Lotus here. Fang Yuan halted his steps. He found a familiar-looking goo sealed in the crystal wall before him. This goo was like a blue and white lotus, as large as a face. It had an amazing origin. It was created by Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable. They were a series, the Rank 3 Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, the Rank 4 Heavenly Essence Treasure Monarch Lotus, Rank 5 Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus, and Rank 6 Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus. Among them, Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus was ranked 6th among the top 10 Immortal Goo. Its value was equivalent to Spring Autumn Cicada, and was held in the hands of Lang Yelan Spirit now. Fang Yuan had once used a heavenly essence treasure lotus, it made up for his lack of aptitude during that period and was a huge help to him. 
but to advance the gu, Fang Yuan lacked the relevant recipes and the refinement cost was too huge, a natural spirit spring had to be used, and it had to be full of primeval energy as well. Old spirit springs that were running dry could not be used. Once he succeeds, the spirit spring would be destroyed. Rank 4 Heavenly Lotus needed 7 spirit springs. Rank 5 needed 9. To reach rank 6 it needed 11. This sum was counted using Southern Border's level of spirit springs. If Northern Plains' spirit springs were used, he would need 60% more of them. Back then, it was too difficult for Fang Yuan to advance the Heavenly Lotus, and after his aptitude improved greatly, he gave up on the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus Gu. But now, he was moved by this rank 5 Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus. The series of Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus are known as Mobile Spirit Springs. Once refined, they can produce primeval essence naturally. There's no point in using the rank 3 Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus anymore, but the rank 5 Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus is suitable for my current condition. But to get his Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus, Fang Yuan would need to exchange for it using an equivalent treasure according to the rules. Let's exchange then. Fang Yuan was rather rich now, having a blessed land was like having the foundation of a Gu Immortal. To exchange for the Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus, others might have to use all of their assets to get it, but for Fang Yuan, it was a question of what to give up. What should I use for the exchange? Fang Yuan's mind entered his two apertures. The strength and enslavement path goo worms inside his apertures were not exchangeable. His first aperture's vital goo spring autumn cicada was the same. Other than them, there were still quite a lot of goo worms in his possession. The individual value of these goo worms were obviously lower than Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus, but if one was insufficient, he could put two or even three in. Oh, why are there 18 spring egg goo? Fang Yuan was shocked to find a batch of precious rank 5 goo inside his first aperture. But he quickly understood the reason. I almost forgot, this is the reward for getting past the round with a high-grade evaluation. It was directly sent into my aperture by True Yang Building. Normally, a goo master's aperture was the basis of their cultivation, it was their biggest secret. But True Yang building was truly made by old hair ancestor, with giant sun immortal venerable setup, it had great power and could directly send goo worms into a goo master's aperture. Spring A goo was obviously inferior to heavenly essence treasure king lotus, but it was still a rank 5 goo. The spring egg goo looked like a white goose egg, it could be obtained by killing a strong eggman emperor. Placing the spring egg goo deep underground would give birth to a new spirit spring. Spirit springs were the foundation for Goo Master's cultivation. Many large tribes or clans would collect spring egg goo to strengthen their foundation in case of need. Even Goo Immortals would often buy them and plant them inside the blessed land, forming a spirit spring and nourishing their inhabitants. Fang Yuan took out one spring egg goo and looked at it. This goo was not in good shape, the surface was full of cracks, and there were primeval essence traces inside the goo, someone had used it before. Fang Yuan's eyes shone with brilliance, he sneered. It seems that this goo was snatched by the flying hand snow while it was activated. The rewards in 88 True Yang building are all of such sources. In order to fulfill his dream of hereditary monarchy, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable set up a huge scheme painstakingly while making sure his descendants had the upper hand. First was the Imperial Court Contest to weaken other tribes. Next, he used the Ten-Year Blizzard to send all sorts of treasures and materials from Northern Plains into 88 True Yang Building. After all, a Gu Master's cultivation was heavily reliant on resources. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable set up the 88 True Yang building, it was a fatal blow. After the resources were taken, he would give them to his bloodline descendants, destroying the hopes of success for other tribes. In Fang Yuan's previous 500 years, Central Continent Gu Immortals attacked and destroyed Imperial Court Blessed Land, using this specialty of the True Yang building. 
they sent pawn pieces into imperial court blessed land. They then purposely scattered goo worms and allowed the flying hand snow to take them. Eventually, Tru Yong building faced destruction from the inside, causing a fatal loophole to appear. After Central Continent Gu Immortals destroyed Imperial Court Blessed Land, they exposed all of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's evil deeds, telling the whole world about his schemes, causing a huge commotion in Northern Plains as all the mortals went into a frenzy. But commotion aside, Northern Plains was still the second strongest region in terms of battle strength, only inferior to Central Continent. All sorts of super forces, Huang Jin family tribes worked together and caused Northern Plains to remain stable. After all, Huang Jin family had controlled Northern Plains for so many years, they had deep foundations and roots, it could not be easily shaken by public opinion. However much they reacted, without strength backing them, there was no point. Fang Yuan placed the spring egg goo in his hand closer to the crystal wall, towards the wall that sealed the heavenly essence treasure King Lotus. As it got closer to the crystal wall, there was a light red light, turning into orange, before finally glowing in yellow. After the three lights shone, there were no more changes. Fang Yuan took out another two spring egg goo, placing them near the wall. This time, there was a green light shining. But the green light was not strong, it was suppressed by the other three lights. Fang Yuan sneered as he took out a fourth spring egg goo, placing it at the crystal wall. This time, the green light burst out, being balanced with the other three colors. The crystal wall turned hollow as it vibrated. The heavenly essence treasure King Lotus inside flew out slowly, while the four spring egg goo in Fang Yuan's hands left his control and flew into the crystal wall, replacing the heavenly essence treasure King Lotus position. The heavenly essence treasure King Lotus landed in Fang Yuan's hands, and Fang Yuan instantly refined it using his primeval essence. 88 True Yang building was truly amazing, it allowed Gu masters to instantly refine Gu inside the building. Red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, purple, black. It seems that inside this treasure room, there are eight categories. The more lights there are, the more valuable the treasure. Rank 5 Heavenly Essence Treasure King Lotus was only a green light item. This was only mid-tier among the range of treasures in this place. Fang Yuan evaluated in his heart as his assessment of the treasure room's value rose and his knowledge of it deepened. He stretched out his hand, touching the crystal wall. He could feel an icy feeling on his palm inside, there were four spring egg goo, the ones he had used for exchange. Fang Yuan tried to control them, but there was no effect. He sighed in amazement in his heart. To speak the truth, in this current world, Fang Yuan was easily among the top three people in terms of his understanding of the 88 True Yang building. That was because he had the detailed information given to him by Lang Yalan spirit. The more Fang Yuan's understanding of 88 True Yang building increased, the more he felt the genius mechanics of this building, it was really amazing. Forget the others, just look at this crystal wall ahead of him, it had a huge origin. This crystal wall was made back then by long hair ancestor using tens of thousands of goo masters. Using a secret technique, he extracted their apertures. Using their aperture walls as the material, he used profound ice goo, ice wall goo, grand jade goo, slow down goo, vitality goo, and others to refine it. This crystal wall was the best spot to seal goo worms, the goo inside would go into deep slumber. They could be stored for hundreds or thousands of years without the slightest harm. According to his information, a newly refined crystal wall would shine with ripples like that of a water surface, one would walk into it feeling like it was an illusory dream. But now, the crystal wall no longer had that glamour, but it was still crystal clear. With enough time, water could pierce through rock. The power of time was one of the most noble heavenly powers. Even a rank 9 venerable could not defeat the power of time. Although True Yang building was an immortal goo house, it opened every 10 years, there was still some expenditure incurred. If not, during Fang Yuan's previous life, 88 True Yang building would not have been taken down and destroyed. 
right now, the luster of the crystal wall was no more. In fact, there was a thick layer of powder at the corner of the walls. Fang Yuan continued moving forward. In the crystal wall, there were all sorts of goo worms, goo recipes, and special refinement materials sealed, but even more were the cultivation experiences of past generations of goo masters. These experiences were extremely precious. Those who could enter the treasure room were geniuses who passed with high-grade evaluation, the things they left behind were definitely top quality. After walking for a little longer, Fang Yuan stopped his footsteps. The hallway ahead of him looked endless, but a steel was blocking Fang Yuan's path. The steel was squarish and smooth, it was about the height of Fang Yuan's knee. There were two words written in Northern Plains script guest halt. 88 True Yang Building was set up by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable in consideration of his descendants. But those who entered the treasure room might not necessarily be Gu Masters who had the bloodline of Giant Sun. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable considered this point, and thus he placed the most precious resources behind the steel outsiders like Chang Shan Yin could only watch helplessly. But Fang Yuan was not Chang Shan Yin. Guest halt, HMPH. Fang Yuan laughed coldly in disdain. He tried walking past the steel, but was blocked by an invisible wall. After so many years, although 88 True Yang Building had some expenditure, the guest halt steel is still working properly, I cannot force my way through. After testing it for a while, Fang Yuan sat down facing the steel. He had planned this for so long, he was naturally well prepared. Immediately, he took out a goo worm, and it shot into the steel. The first step to refining 88 True Yang Building has started. Chapter 559, Immortal Venerable's Will Refining 88 True Yang Building might sound like an absurd idea, but it was not wishful thinking. In truth, Fang Yuan was not the first person to refine 88 True Yang Building. In his former 500 years, when Central Continent Gu Immortals attacked Imperial Court Blessed Land, they first sent some Gu Masters to infiltrate 88 True Yang Building's treasure room. After they succeeded, they released the entire procedure after recording it with goo worms, announcing it to the world. Imperial Court Blessed Land was the spiritual symbol for Northern Plains Goo Masters, it had great importance. The recording of Imperial Court Blessed Land being taken down was spread over the five regions, it not only displayed Central Continent's strength, it was also a poisonous needle intended to destroy Northern Plains Goo Masters' mental support. Most importantly, this recording also proved that Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had snatched goo worms all over Northern Plains in order to benefit his descendants. Once the recording was released, Northern Plains was in huge turmoil as the masses went into an uproar. Although the Huang Jin tribes suppressed the situation and the internal chaos did not reach the level that Central Continent Goo Immortals hoped, it did create a northern plains where the people's hearts wavered and undercurrents were flowing. Central Continent Gu Immortal Song Kai Zing, after seeing this video, gave an accurate prediction. Once this video is spread all over the region, the spirit of freedom in northern plains would be released from Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's prison. Fang Yuan naturally had a vivid memory of this video. After his rebirth, he immediately realized the huge value of this video. For this trip to Northern Plains, saving Dang Hun Mountain was merely one of his objectives. Fang Yuan was a careful person, he often considered failure before success. How can there be something as good as success as one wishes in this world? If I fail to save Dang Hun Mountain, I can at least seek other forms of compensation inside 88 True Yang Building. The video of Central Continent Goo Immortals taking down Imperial Court Blessed Land had great reference value for Fang Yuan. But just this clip was not enough. Fang Yuan could only see what happened on the surface from this clip. But luckily, Fang Yuan had obtained first-hand information from Lang Yalan Spirit. Because of this, by fusing theory with practice, Fang Yuan had much greater confidence in refining 88 True Yang Building. With my current cultivation level, it is impossible to fully refine 88 True Yang building. 
but I can refine a portion of it. Fang Yuan was very clear of the reality. He was only a mortal Gu master. One had to be at least a rank 8 Gu immortal to refine the immortal Gu house. In Fang Yuan's plans, he only wanted to refine a portion of 88 true Yang building. 88 true Yang building had existed for a very long time, it was worn down and had loopholes secretly. It was too grand, too majestic, like a giant wooden cage. Fang Yuan was like a termite compared to it. The strength of a termite could not destroy the entire wooden cage, but it could devour the edges. The difficulty of the two was as great as heaven and earth. The guest halt steel in front of him, after a specialized goo worm entered it, gave off a faint yellow light. Fang Yuan stretched out his palms in the meantime, injecting his aperture's primeval essence into it. At the same time, his will entered the guest halt steel, following the primeval essence. Goo masters refine goo, it was to occupy the goo worm's body with their will. And during this process, primeval essence was the perfect carrier. Fang Yuan's brows were tightly knotted as his mind entered the steel. The guest halt steel was only a portion of 88 True Yang building. 88 True Yang building was a rank 8 immortal goo house, it was way too big. Once Fang Yuan's will entered, he felt that he was in a sea of darkness. In this endless darkness, there was a sun-like existence. It gave off a weak light, which moved in waves like that of breathing. This is giant sun immortal venerable's will, Fang Yuan's mind went into high alert. 88 True Yang building was giant sun immortal venerable's property. Since he refined it, his will was naturally inside the immortal goo. Although giant sun immortal venerable's body had perished long ago, this will that he injected had survived while slumbering within this shell. Such a will is really grand, I feel like I am facing a real sun. Immortal venerables have unthinkable strength, this is merely a small portion of giant sun immortal venerables' will, left behind and weakened after such a long time. Thankfully, this will is currently unconscious, if I move carefully, it should not be alerted. I must not wake it up otherwise, what happened to those two central continent Gu immortals whose souls were dispersed in the video will happen to me. The vast dark space represents the 88 True Yang building. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's remnant will was like the sun, in the center emitting a weak light as it slept. Meanwhile, Fang Yuan's will was like a sesame compared to it. He also gave off a weak light, but he was lurking at the furthest corner of the entire area. Fang Yuan continued to inject primeval essence slowly and carefully. As the primeval essence entered the guest halt steel, the amount of his will that was inside 88 true Yang building increased. In the dark corner, the light that represented Fang Yuan was expanding, gradually repelling a portion of the darkness, gaining some territory for itself. Time passed second by second. Fang Yuan was very careful, his forehead was soon full of sweat. To think that refining this steel would be so difficult. With my two rank 5 peak stage apertures at 90% capacity, it was still not enough. If not for the heavenly essence treasure King Lotus, I might have faced even more trouble. Four hours passed, Fang Yuan finally breathed out a sigh as he pulled back his palms from the steel. He was extremely tired, mostly from the mental stress, it was more precarious than walking on a tightrope. I finally succeeded. Fang Yuan looked at the guest halt steel before him, a sense of closeness emitted from the steel into the deep parts of his heart. But the joy of success quickly faded, as Fang Yuan frowned even more deeply. There were indeed many deleted scenes in the video that was shown in my previous life. I spent so much primeval essence, but the goo master in the clip was only rank 5 middle stage, yet he did not take any breaks in the middle, only spending an hour to refine it. Maybe the goo master had some assistance goo worms in his aperture, but Fang Yuan was more inclined to believe that there was more than meets the eye. The reason why Central Continent Goo Immortals released this video was to deal a crushing blow to the Huangjin tribes, to release the spirit of freedom in other Northern Plains tribes. 
Deep into the 88 True Yong building, there were definitely gains or methods that could not be publicly shown. At the same time, to make the video more concise and interesting, so that people would watch it, the boring and mundane parts were definitely deleted that had certainly happened. But this was bad news to Fang Yuan. Refining the 88 True Yong building was a very dangerous act. If he was misled by the video, one mistake would end his life. 88 True Yong building is truly phenomenal. I spent so much time, but I have not even refined half a percent of it. Fang Yuan sighed as he patted the guest halt steel, standing up. If he looked at 88 True Yang building as a hundred percent, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's remnant will would occupy 30% of it. Out of a hundred percent, after refining the guest halt steel, Fang Yuan's refinement of the building was still less than half a percent. But even so, Fang Yuan's lips curled into a smile. He turned around, talking a few steps back, and casually came to a crystal wall that had sealed some treasures. His gaze concentrated as he stretched out his arm towards the wall. If it was before, the crystal wall would be like an ice wall, blocking his hand. But now, the guest halt steel shone slightly, and the crystal wall turned hollow. Fang Yuan's arm successfully entered the wall like it had gone into a water wall, taking the treasure out from inside. Once he refined the guest halt steel, any treasure inside this section of the crystal wall could be taken out at will, Fang Yuan did not have to pay any price. Oh, this must be the Rush Thunderstone. Looking at the treasure in his hand, Fang Yuan had to appraise it carefully before confirming his guess. Rush Thunderstone was quite a rare goo refinement material. It was nearly extinct now, it was very rare even inside Treasure Yellow Heaven only sold once in a while. This stone was created from the essence of lightning and thunder when the thunder in the nine heavens exploded together. But ever since the immemorial era, seven of the nine heavens fell, only white and black heaven were left. The chances of these two heavens thunder and lightning clashing were very low. Thus, after the immemorial era, the production of rush thunderstones fell drastically. When Thunderpath was flourishing, large numbers of Rush Thunderstones were used to refine goo. Thus, the remaining stock of Rush Thunderstones now was low. Heaven and Earth is ever-changing as time passed, Thunderpath also changed and no longer needed Rush Thunderstones. Only those goo masters or goo immortals who wanted to research immemorial Thunderpath goo worms would be interested in Rush Thunderstones. The value of the treasure room was extremely high, just a casual treasure that Fang Yuan took was a Rush Thunderstone. But soon after, Fang Yuan returned the Rush Thunderstone back to the crystal wall. Small greed ruins big plans. Because exchange was needed to obtain treasures, the total treasure amount in the crystal walls was always the same. Every item here was recorded by all the super forces or even large-sized Huang Jin tribes. If someone obtained high-grade evaluation and came here later, they would find that treasures were missing. That would lead to great suspicion and shock. Fang Yuan felt no pity. After testing for a while, he walked towards the deeper parts of the crystal path. Arriving at the guest halt steel once again, his footsteps became slower. A few hours ago, the invisible wall that blocked him had vanished. But this did not mean that he could enter safely. 88 True Yang Building was created by Long Hair Ancestor. It obviously had other defensive measures. But Fang Yuan was prepared for them. He willed and at once, five to six mystical goo worms flew out of his aperture, turning into lumps of colorful smoke as they surrounded him. Fang Yuan checked again, and after ensuring that he was fully covered, he walked past the guest halt steel. Smoke of all colors rumbled as they formed into a flash of blood light spreading out. Fang Yuan looked around, finding that the treasures in the crystal walls were better than the previous segment by a tear. Oh, this is... Fang Yuan's gaze froze for a second as he saw a rank 5 strength path goo worm inside the crystal wall. He was overjoyed. Chapter 560 Crucial Problem Fang Yuan had just taken a step past the guest halt steel and a pleasant surprise welcomed him. A borrow strength goo appeared in front of him. 
this was a rank 5 strength path goo, it was almost completely extinct and was even more rare than all-out effort goo. It could not be used by itself, but instead had to be used together with other goo worms. When matched with sky strength goo, it could allow the goo master to borrow the strength of the sky. When matched with earth strength goo, the goo master could borrow the strength of the earth. With fire strength goo, it allowed the goo master to borrow strength from fire. With water strength goo, the goo master could take gain strength from water flow. My killer move forearm wind king uses wind overlord goo and tyrant strength goo. The combination of these two goo was a substitute for borrow strength goo, but their effects are not even 50% of borrow strength goo. With this borrow strength goo, I can raise my killer move to a whole new level. Fang Yuan was truly happy. Of course, borrow strength goo still needed to be matched with other goo worms. By now, sky strength goo was already extinct. But earth strength goo, fire strength goo, water strength goo, wind strength goo and so on were still widely circulated. However, the usage of these goo worms had already sidetracked from their original use. Earth strength goo was now frequently used to raise the fertility of the soil to help the goo masters in agriculture, or was used together with wood path goo. Fire strength goo was used by some fire path goo masters as a support goo that could slightly increase the strength of fire path goo worms. Water strength, wind strength, lightning strength and so on were also used similar. Fang Yuan approached the crystal wall and took out close to 10 spring egg goo to exchange for the borrow strength goo. Past the guest halt steel, he could only exchange for the treasures he wanted. Fang Yuan continued to walk forward. The treasures and the crystal wall here were clearly a level or two higher than before. Meteor rain goo, star lightning speed goo, wind fog hair goo, stellar fire prairie goo, water curtain skyflower goo. Rank 5 goo, which were extremely rare in the outside world, could be seen everywhere here. Instead, it was rank 4 goo that were very rare in here. But any rank 4 goo that appeared here were bound to be very rare and precious among the rank 4 goo, their value and strength comparable to common rank 5 goo. Fang Yuan's gaze swept through the treasures, the blood flame light covering him was wearing down non-stop. This blood flame light was a barrier protecting him. Once it completely disappeared, he would be detected by 88 True Yong building and be eradicated instantly. Before this protection disappears, I need to find that owner token. As time passed, Fang Yuan gradually started to feel anxious. These goo he used to disguise his identity and deceive 88 True Yang building were not easy to refine. Moreover, the costs in refining them were considerable. One of the main material was a thousand jin of Huang Jin family blood, which required 98 long steps of purification. Now, Imperial Court Contest had already ended. It was even more difficult for Fang Yuan to get these blood in large amounts. What was even worse was a fork actually appeared in this long crystal corridor. Fang Yuan could not help stopping to think about it carefully. Which path was the one he needed to take? At this moment, the image of the Central Continent Goo Immortals attacking Imperial Court Blessed Land in the previous life became a great help to Fang Yuan. He chose the left path and moved rapidly through it. Here, the treasures that appeared in the crystal wall were of a level higher in their worth. There were only rank 5 Goo with no more rank 4 Goo to be found, and at the same time, there were rare rank 5 Goo as well. Fang Yuan quickly walked forward while sweeping his gaze over the treasures, suddenly his gaze stopped. Found it. An owner token was sealed in the crystal wall, just at the knee height of Fang Yuan. This owner token was the doing of Central Continent Goo Immortals. A tall tree attracts the wind, Imperial Court Blessed Land had existed tall till now which had already attracted the attention of Goo Immortals of all regions. Central Continent Goo Immortals had begun their plan hundreds of years ago. The owner token was generally held by the Alliance leader and would self-destruct once it left Imperial Court Blessed Land. Close to a millennium ago, Central Continent Goo Immortals spent a lot of effort to scheme from the dark, 
not only did they bribe that Times Alliance leader, it is rumored that they also used an immortal goo. Using the power of the immortal goo, they tampered with the owner token which then hid inside 88 True Yang building, becoming a key for the future, waiting for the opportunity to use it. In Fang Yuan's past life, Central Continent Gu Immortals first started the Five Regions battle, and were able to create the opportunity not long after, finally breaching Imperial Court Blessed Land. Imperial Court Blessed Land was an arrangement set by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, breaching this place was much more difficult than breaching other Blessed Lands. But Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had already passed away, while Central Continent Gu Immortals had painstakingly brewed their scheme for close to a millennium, achieving some success in the end. However, in this life, this owner token landed in Fang Yuan's hand. The process of exchanging for this owner token was extremely smooth, but it would not be easy to make the token usable for him. This was the final, crucial step. Fang Yuan's expression turned solemn as he sat cross-legged on the ground and concentrated. Goo worms after goo worms moved at his will and struck the owner token non-stop. Ding ding ding. A pleasant music sounded from the collision and the owner token gradually floated into the air. Every strike would create a layer of halo over the owner token. When it was covered with 38 halo, the dull color on its surface suddenly dispersed and revealed the words, owner token. The halo then started to burst like air bubbles. The owner token lost its buoyancy and fell down and was immediately caught by Fang Yuan. He quickly bit his finger and let the blood drip onto the owner token. The moment his blood seeped into the owner token, the metallic token suddenly became a translucent glass. Fang Yuan had seen Hai Lu Lan's owner token and was able to immediately be aware that there was a great difference between his token and the original owner token. The methods I used just now was in reference to my past life's video, awakening the true appearance of this owner token. It seems this is very possibly the strength of an immortal goo, and also, only immortal goo can tamper with owner token while avoiding the detection of 88 True Yang building. Fang Yuan looked at the glass owner token and sank into contemplation. After a dozen or so breaths, the blood flame light covering him thoroughly dispersed. The world seemed to have gone mute at this moment as Fang Yuan could clearly hear his heartbeats, safe and sound. The sound of his heartbeats gradually disappeared, Fang Yuan slowly stood up and let out a breath of turbid air. Success. He mumbled while clenching his left fist in excitement, but he found his voice was somewhat hoarse. At the same time, his whole body was soaked with sweat, and he felt some dizziness. Truly activating this owner token and making it recognize him was not easy at all. It was even more difficult than refining a rank 5 goo. If there was even a slight mistake, it might have very well been impossible to reprieve. Fang Yuan endured the enormous mental pressure and finally succeeded. Now, as long as I hold the glass owner token, I can freely enter the treasure room. There is no need for any high-grade evaluation. Holding the owner token was equivalent to being in control of a small part of 88 True Yang building. Fang Yuan tested the owner token and almost instantly, Hai Lu Lan's group's figures appeared in his mind. After crossing the 54th round, they had already charged to 61st round. Right now, they were having a fierce fight with a golden white tiger phantom. A true golden white tiger was a desolate beast level existence. The golden white tiger phantom possessed the aura of a desolate beast and was pressing down Hai Lu Lan's group. Hai Lu Lan had numbers on his side, but their defeat was imminent. Fang Yuan looked closely for a while and inwardly commented, If there is no accident, Hai Lu Lan and his group will only be able to last for less than 45 minutes before they have to retreat. I don't have a lot of time. Although Fang Yuan entered the treasure room, as long as the possessor of the owner token walked out of 88 True Yang building, he would also have to leave. Fang Yuan might have the glass owner token now and could stay or leave according to his will. But it was not good to expose it at present. Just the glass owner token is still far from enough. I still need to find that loophole and completely blow it up. 
This will create a great hole in 88 True Yang building, and I will then be able to freely take away the treasures in the crystal wall. The glass owner token shook slightly, and the next moment, Fang Yuan disappeared on the spot. This should be the central control room. When Fang Yuan opened his eyes, he had arrived at a secret room. The secret room was round with its walls flickering with starlight and a white jade round table on the center. There was an exquisite model of the whole imperial court blessed land on the round table, just like a military sand table. Not only did it depict mountains and rivers and the sacred palace at the center, even the small towers in the blessed land were clearly visible. Fang Yuan sent out a goo worm which flew to air and turned into black smoke that fell down to the sand table. The sand table was contaminated by the black smoke and rapidly turned into black color. The black color gradually condensed, forming into a large patch of sticky liquid that slowly flowed on the sand table. Fang Yuan looked at a spot where the black liquid had formed a funnel shape, and as if there was a hole below, the surrounding black liquid was slowly entering it. Found it? This is that hole. Now, I just need to enlarge this hole and refine the glass owner token into a one-edge owner token. With a one-edge owner token, I can even control a floor of 88 true Yang building at will, eh? Right at this time, Fang Yuan's movements paused as his eyes rigidly stared at the hole on the sand table. The whole sand table was covered by the thick black oil-like sticky liquid, thus Fang Yuan had not been able to see immediately. But now that he had looked for a while, he suddenly discovered this hole was none other than DQ Inheritance Sight. What is going on here? Could it be DQ Inheritance is also a concealed move set up by Central Continent Gu Immortals before like the Glass Owner token? Fang Yuan was shocked but he quickly calmed down and became aware of the shortcomings to this assumption. No wrong, if this was a concealed move prepared to breach the blessed land, then how do I explain that cipher and the clues from the grey white stone slab? These clues are clearly the clues to the inheritance. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with bright light. Right now, the scene in his previous life could not give him any help. Could it be that Central Continent Gu Immortals also discovered this inheritance, but they could not decipher the secret phrase and so are using the inheritance this way? No, this is wrong too. Thinking from their side, if they discovered this inheritance which very likely contained an immortal Gu, they would definitely be moved. If that is so, then that means that they did not obtain any clues to the inheritance but only discovered this hole. Of course, there is also another possibility that they were not able to decipher the secret of the inheritance, but as breaching the blessed land was an important matter, they chose to break this hole in the end. But if so, DQ inheritance would also be destroyed. Fang Yuan thought of this and that feeling the existence of these two probabilities, but he did not have conclusive evidence now so he could not confirm them. He hesitated in case he used the methods in his previous life's scene and burst open this hole, then DQ inheritance would definitely be destroyed. But if he did not do so and chose to preserve DQ inheritance, his plans for 88 True Young Building would stop here. 88 True Young Building's worth is much higher than DQ inheritance. This is hopeless, I can only abandon DQ inheritance. But the person who made this arrangement is really amazing, to actually be able to tamper with Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's arrangement, hmm? Wait a second. Fang Yuan's mind suddenly shook as he thought of an extremely crucial problem.